Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khuram. And today's lecture is very important regarding the IPD, the interpupillary distance, right? The interpupillary distance is actually the distance between the two pupil, right? But the question is that what is actually the near IPD? What about the IPD where I am looking at near? What about the IPD when I am looking at distance? And what are the detailed accurate methods uh, for measuring the near IPD and the distance IPD. You know very well that IPD is very important in dispensing. IPD is very important while you are performing uh, the clinical refraction, right? If you, uh, if you prescribe your patient a very world's best prescription, if you prescribe your patient a best sphere, if you prescribe your patient a best cylinder, if you prescribe your patient, if you prescribe, if you measure the correct and accurate axis for your patient, these things are important but if you did all these things if you did all these essential things but you did not measure the correct accurate ipd it's all useless right why because you know very well that what is actually the optical center the optical center of any lens of your spectacle right of your glass actually the optical center is actually that exactly central point of the lens from which the light rays will go undeviatedly and that undeviated light rays will exactly fall on the sensitive layer of the retina on the sensitive layer of macula or fovea right and when you did not and that's optical center let me tell you and that optical center will exactly pass through the center exactly center of the pupil and if you did not measure the accurate IPD of your patient uh, either distance or near IPD then the optical center of your lens of the lens of the patient will displaced from its original positions right and when that optical center will deviate right will displace from the original position from the original central position of the pupil then the prism will generate right and the patient will face uh, the prismatic effect right the image displacement right you know very well so it doesn't matter that you give a best prescription to your patient but if your pd if your ipd if your interpupillary distance is not correct it's all useless as i mentioned right so that's why the measuring ipd this procedure this phenomena is very 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 important while you are giving uh, a clinical refraction procedure or you are doing uh, dispensing right if you are grinding the lens of your patient right this is very important uh, uh, for the optometrist and for the dispensing operations as well so let's start the video first of all we've discussed and in this video we are only learn about the manual method i visited many optical shops many optical shops but uh, i it, it's really strange for me it's really an, as, astonished for me that many of the opticians many of the optical shops uh, technicians do not know that how to measure the correct interpupillary distance so in this video we are going to learn about the manual methods right of distance ipd and the near ipd so let's start the lecture first we will discuss about the distance ipd remember the requirements for the distance ipd are the distance between you and the patient should be at least one arm length or 40 centimeter you can say right for the distance pd right and the eye level of the patient and the examiner should be the same right if i am examiner i have a patient my eye level should be exactly same as the patient right now uh, we must have a pd scale right we must have a PD, pd scale as well because we are measuring the ipd uh, in a manual method right so now let's start how we can uh, measure the ipd in a manual way or in manual method so for example These are two eyeballs and this is our patient. Right? Doesn't matter one eye is bigger than the other one. Pardon me. So this is patient and this is patient's right eye. This is patient's left eye. Right? And now this is patient and this is examiner. Right? And now you know very well that if I'm looking into your eyes, right, then my right eye is facing your left eye and my left eye is facing your right eye like this. 
this is patient's right eye and this is patient's left eye so i am looking at the patient's eye and the distance between me and the patient is 40 cm for example an arm length so if this is the right eye of the patient so this would be my left eye the examiner's left eye right and if this is the left eye of the patient this would be the right eye of the examiner or optometrist right so now first of all you have to because we are measuring the distance ipd so in distance ipd remember that your eyes should like should be like in a straight position in a well aligned primary position right it should not like this in a convergent position and or divergent extra divergent position it should be at the specific primary position right so i will occlude for example i will occlude my right eye first this is exam this is the blue eyes are for the examiner so i occlude my right eye so this eye is closed now occluded right so i will ask the patient to look in my left eye with the both eyes so now will the patient will see in my left eye right from his right eye and from his left eye as well so now both these eyes will look at the open eye of the examiner which is the left eye so if you see the patient will see from the right eye in the eye of the examiner which is the left eye so patient is looking from his or her right eye in the left eye of the examiner so this eye the right eye will go straight like this right but the left eye will have to converge like this so now you will take the ipd of this eye of the right eye which is coming straight ahead to the examiner's open eye right and now we will pick our scale and we will fix the zero mark of the scale at this point which is actually the right pupil of the right side here right and the other side of the scale will put at the left eye of the right side of the pupil right so that would be our pd and the normal ipd the normal range of the ipd in adult is 60 to 65 millimeter right this is how we can measure the distance ipd right from the left eye from the for the right eye and for the left eye as well and for the left eye obviously now i will occlude now i will occlude this eye my left eye right now this eye is occluded now this eye is open right so now patient will see this eye is occluded and this eye is open right so patient will see from his left eye straight ahead in my open eye which is right eye right and from this eye this eye of the patient will have to converge but we do not need any convergent ipd we need a straight ahead ipd as i mentioned right so i will measure this ipd the ipd of the left and again i will put the scale at this margin of the pupil and at this margin of the pupil and i will measure the distance between these two pupil and that would be my ipd you can measure these points right of the same side or if you can measure exactly the center of the pupil of the both eyes right in the same position it will give you the best accurate ipd which is the distance ipd but if you want to take the dots on the new pair of glasses of the patient this method is the same the patient will wear his or her glasses right first you will adjust the glasses right your glasses the new pair of glasses which carries the dummy lenses the fake lenses right and you are going to mark the ipd of that patient distance ipd the patient will put that glasses on his or her choice right and now the distance between you and the patient is 40 cm or arm length now the procedure is all the same right if you are if you want to measure the ipd of the left eye right of the patient you will occlude this eye the patient will look straight ahead in your right eye and you will mark the dot exactly at the center of the pupil on the dummy lens of the spectacles lens right and 
exactly with the same eye with the left eye with the fellow eye right when your patient now this eye this eye is occluded and this eye is open the patient will look straight ahead in your open eye like this and you will mark the dot the central dot on the glass of the spectacles right and you will measure the distance between the two dots and that will be the distance ipd of the patient right and now we will discuss the different four different methods for measuring the near ipd i received many emails i received many uh, messages that how we can measure the near ipd so let's learn about it so the first method of the measuring the near ipd right if you if your patient wants a bifocal right then you have to measure the near ipd as well right we have detailed videos on bifocals types of bifocals measurements of bifocals right so in this video we are going to learn that how we can find the accurate ipd for the near right or near ipd so the first method which is very easy very easy right uh, if you are suppose for example your distance ipd is something for example if this is the lens and the distance ipd is here the central dot of the distance ipd is here you just have to come down 8 mm right and 2 mm inside so that would be that dot would be the near ipd right if you if you have measured the distance ipd if you have marked the distance ipd on the lens of the spectacles right you have just to come down 8 mm from that distance pd and 2 mm inside towards the nose right and that will be your near ipd the method number one and now let's learn about the second method for measuring the near ipd in this ipd suppose this is left eye of the patient this is right eye of the patient and this is nose the beautiful nose of your patient right uh, now what would be the requirements the requirements are the same the eye level should be maintained between the patient and the examiner number one number two is very important that you will maintain the distance at that point which is exactly the uh, working distance of the patient because if the if your patient want to work at the distance of 40 centimeter the distance should be 40 centimeter between you and your patient if you want to uh, maintain the distance of 25 centimeter that should be 25 centimeter right so at distance ipd it doesn't matter that what is the exactly distance between you and patient right in distance ipd but in near ipd the distance must be the same which is exactly the reading distance of the patient which is exactly the working distance of the patient so if the working distance is 40 centimeter which is normally 40 centimeter always in adults so the distance between examiner and the patient should be 40 centimeter right so now what is the difference then between near ipd and distance ipd so in near ipd you have to put your right eye before patient's nose remember this is important key point that you have to keep your right eye so this is your right eye and here it is your left eye it doesn't matter where is left eye you have to do with the right eye so your right eye should be exactly in front of your in front of the patient's nose right so you see the patient's tip is exactly facing the center of the pupil of the examiner's right eye and now you will ask the patient to look at your center of the pupil from the both eyes right and when patients will looking at the center of your pupil because your right 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 eye is exactly in front of the patient's nose so both of the eyes will converge at the center of your pupil examiner's pupil so you know very well that in near ipd the convergence of the eyes is required this is the requirement while you are measuring the near ipd so you can see the both eyes are converging at the same point at the central point of the examiner's pupil so you will again you will put a scale zero mark at the center of the pupil of this eye zero mark at the center of the pupil of this eye and you will measure 
the distance between these two pupil and that will be the near IPD or you can measure the center of the pupil or you can see you can put your scale the zero mark of the scale at this point and other at this point right and that will be your near IPD this is the second method of the near IPD now let's discuss let's learn about the third method of how we can measure the accurate near IPD and now the third method of measuring the near IPD is three quarter rule and what are the indications uh, of the three quarter rule at which prescription I should go for the three quarter rule remember whenever uh, the addition power you know very well that what is add when the addition power is more than plus 2.5 right if you see if you're watching uh, your prescription card of your patient and you see the ad is more than 2.5 it's 2.75 it's 2 it's 3 it's 4 right then you will go for three quarter rule right and what is the formula because you know very well that the higher the addition right the reading material will come closer with the same ratio the higher the plus power right in the addition and the reading distance will be go closer the lesser the plus power the lesser the addition the reading material the reading distance will go far away so because our addition is more addition is more than 2.5 it's 3 it's 4 it's 4.5 right for example then your reading distance will go closer will go closer the plus power is increasing the reading distance is getting closer right this is the concept so for that purpose we use the three quarter rule and what is three quarter rule for every inside of the eye, each inside of eye, you have to multiply 0 0.75 with add. For example, our distance IPD is 66 millimeter. And now we are going to measure the near IPD, right? Distance IPD is 66 meter, right? And addition is plus 4 for example addition is plus 4 right so we will multiply 0 0.75 with 4 so if you multiply 0 0.75 with 4 the answer will be 3 now the distance IPD was 66 millimeter and 3 mm is actually for the each eye we will converge our Patient's right eye will convert 3 mm, patient's left eye will convert 3 mm. So both eyes will convert 6 mm. So now for measuring the accurate near IPD, we will subtract 3 from the distance IPD, which is 66. And the answer will be from the 6 actually, right? 3 for the left eye and 3 for the right eye. And 66 minus 6 is equal to 60 mm. So 60 mm will be our near IPD. But if your addition is more than 2.5 right and now let's discuss about the very last method of measuring the near IPD and the fourth method of measuring the near IPD is lazy man method right for the people like me and the lazy man method and this is if your uh, addition is like in the normal range if if your addition is from plus 1 to plus 2.5 right not more than 2.5 it's from plus 1 to plus 2.5 right you will go for you can go for the lazy man method and if you if you have measured your distance IPD which is 66 millimeter you will simply subtract 3 from the distance IPD right so distance IPD is 66 you will subtract 3 from the distance IPD and the rest of the value will be your near IPD. So 66 is distance IPD. You subtracted 3 from the 66 and the answer is 63. And 63 is your near IPD. But this method is for the patients who have the addition less than 2.5. Like plus 1, plus 1.5, 2 or 2.5. Right. So I hope all the methods of of all the manual methods for uh, measuring the distance IPD and near IPD are clear. We'll see you in the next videos.